Okay, so let's practice more logarithms with integrals. So example three, we have the integral of x squared over five minus x cubed dx. Okay, so by this point, with all the stuff we've done in use substitution, we all should get in the habit of seeing that if you have something you can take the derivative of, the derivative's in it, you just need to do u substitution. It helps a lot. So you're gonna put your u equal to five minus x cubed. So if we take the derivative of it, du equals negative three x squared dx, but there's no negative three up there, so we're gonna divide by negative three on both sides. So you get negative one third du equals x squared dx. So now we can replace x squared dx with this. So you're gonna do the antiderivative of one over u times negative one third du. Remember the negative one third is just a numerical coefficient, so it moves to the outside. So you have negative one third the integral of one over u du. The antiderivative of one over u is just the natural log of u plus e. Bring down that negative one third. And then we replace the u with the five minus x cubed. Okay? All right, now example four. So you've got a definite integral this time. We're going from zero to four. All right, I like to keep it in terms of x, so I don't have to keep changing things back and forth. So you can do it however you want to, but I change everything back to x. So I just keep those zero to four the whole time because I just, I don't have to change more than I have to. Um, so we have eight x over x squared plus four dx. So our u is x squared plus four. So du would be two x dx. Okay, so we have the x, but the problem is this is eight and this is two. So what we do is we multiply everything by four. So this becomes four du and then this is eight x dx. So now we can replace it, okay? So we go from zero to four, one over u, and then the eight x dx becomes four du. Remember, you can move the four to the outside of your integral. So four moves out here. You're going from zero to four, one over u du. So the antiderivative of one over u is the natural log of u. There's no plus c this time because we're doing a definite integral. Break down that four. All right, now I have to switch everything back in terms of x. So our u was x squared plus four. So I'm gonna put four times natural log of x squared plus four. Evaluate it from zero to four. So if you plug in four, you get four squared plus four gives you 20. So that's the first part. And if you plug in zero, you still have this four left over. So you have four natural log of four. Okay, you can rearrange this more if you want to and do natural log properties. So like subtracting logs is the same thing as dividing and do all this different stuff. But if it was a free response, it's all numbers now. And that's, you don't have to simplify more than you have to. So I would leave it like this.